Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem simultaneously. Our equation 1 is m plus 2n equals 10. This is our equation 1. Then equation 2 is m mn equals 10. This is our equation 2. Now, to solve the, the equation, we are going to use elimination method. Okay, let's use a um, substitution method. Okay, so from here, we will make M the subject in equation 1 so that our M will be equal to 10 minus 2N. We we'll now call this our equation 3. And we'll get back to this once we have our value of um, n. Okay, now put this equation 3 into equation 1. So we have n to multiply everything here, which is 10 minus 2n. Right, then this is equal to 10. Let's open the brackets. So we have 10n minus 2n squared equals 10 now we will rearrange so that 2n squared will come first then we have okay this is minus 2 plus 10n equals 10 let's bring this to the left so we have minus 2n squared plus 10n this becomes minus 10 then we have 0 Let's um, multiply both sides by minus 1. So this will give us 2n squared. This will become minus 10n. This will become plus 10 equals 0. Now, the next point is to divide everything by 2 so that this equation will be reduced. 2n squared divided by 2 is n squared. Minus 10n divided by 2 is 5n then plus 10 divided by 2 is 5 this is equal to 0 now we're going to use the formula method to solve this our n will be minus b plus or minus square root of um, b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a remember that our a is 1 that is the coefficient of n squared our b is minus 5 and then our c is 5 that is plus 5 so now we are looking for n n will be equal to minus then minus 5 we have plus or minus let me explain that this negative is the one outside and b itself is equal to minus 5 so it has to be in the bracket then we have square root of b squared which will be minus 5 in bracket squared then minus 4 times 1 times 5 a is 1 and um, c is 5 everything is divided by 2 times 1 and that will give 2 now our n is equal to 5 then plus or minus, we have um, minus 5 squared is 25, then minus 20, that is 4 times 1 times 5, as we divide all through by 2. Now our n is equal to 5 plus or minus, then we have 25 minus 20, that will be 5, then we divide by 2. Now this is a 2 in 1 solution because n is 5 plus root 5 over 2 or 5 minus root 5 over 2. But for this value of um, n, we are going to get the corresponding value of m. Okay, remember that our equation 3 is m 
equals 10 minus 2n. So let's work with the first value of n. Our m will now be 10 minus 2. In place of um, n, I write 5 plus root 5 over 2. Okay? Now, this can go there since we are multiplying. Then our m will be 10. Negative times 5 is negative 5. Negative times positive root 5 will still give negative root 5. Okay, so if we continue, then m will be 10 minus 5 is 5, then minus root 5. So we are saying that when, when m is equal to 5 minus root 5, our n is equal to 5 plus root 5 over 2. So from here we have our value of um, m and n. But then we need to get the other value of m as well. But our m is still 10 minus 2n. And this time around, m will be 10 minus 2. Right? Then we open bracket. We have um, 5 minus root 5 over 2. Okay, so that if we continue... This will go away with this, just like we did before. Then our m will be equal to 10 minus, open bracket, we have 5 minus root 5. We will now open the bracket as m will be equal to 10 minus 5. Negative multiplied by negative will give positive, then we have root 5. Okay, so if we go ahead, our m will now be 10 minus 5 is 5, then plus root 5. Okay, mind you, you cannot add these two because this one is um, just number and this is some um, um, root, right? This one is um, a rational number and this is a non-rational, so we cannot add both of them. Okay, but then we are saying that when m equals 5 plus root 5 our n is 5 minus root 5 over 2 so by this we have um, solved the problem completely thank you for watching and if you love this video subscribe to my channel so that you can get more videos like this thank you for watching